Jody, I don't believe it. You picked all those berries? Yeah, so did Butterwing. Look. See, Miss Twink? My goodness, I just can't keep up with you two. Well, we've been doing this kind of stuff ever since we were little kids, Miss Twink. Isn't that right, Butterwing? Mm-hmm. Here, Miss Twink. What are you doing? There are only three in my family. I bet you you don't want to be eating the same thing day after day, now do you, Jody? Well, that's part of it. In that case, Jody, I'd be very pleased to have them. Thank you kindly. <laughs> hey, you goats gotta be pretty full by now. <laughs> hey, Jody. What? Shh. Come here. Huh? What's wrong? Take a look. <gasps> We better not tell Miss Twink about this. Yeah. Jody, what'll we do if they attack us? We won't have a chance. They have their eyes on the goats. We can't help. Let's leave the goats and get. What are you two up to? No, nothing. Uh, we were just uh, thinking it's about time to head home. Right, Butterwing? Uh mm -hmm. I think you're right. We don't want to worry your folks by being late. Besides, we've picked enough berries for today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. What about your goats? Uh, they're fine. My pa will come and get them later. <laughs> Miss Twink, I don't think you should be humming so loud. <laughs> oh, why's that? Uh, because, uh... Uh, you might scare up a snake or something. Oh, no! Snakes? Around here? Shh! <gasps> a loud voice doesn't help either. Looks like we're in the clear. Mm-hmm. What's the matter? You boys are acting so strangely. Right, I'm gonna go get my pa. You stay here with Miss Twink, okay? Okay. Uh, I gotta go. So long, Miss Twink. Jody? Jody? We better hurry, too. What's going on? Tell me, something wrong? We saw a pack of wolves back there, but we didn't want to scare you. <gasps> oh! You left our goats behind. But, Ma, if it was just me and Fodderwing, we could have done something, but Miss Twink was with us. Didn't I tell you not to take the goats with you? To feed them here? Now you see what happens when you neglect your chores. Do you think we can afford to lose those goats, do you? All right, let's get them, Jody. Hey, Pa, do you think the wolves have got them by now? Just hang on tight and don't worry. Right over there. All right, keep quiet, son. Look, Pa. Mm-hmm. Hey, Pa. They're all right now, Pa. Yeah. Jody, just where'd you say those wolves were? They were over there in those bushes. I'm gonna go check on the goats. Hmm. No wolves now. Hmm? Hmm. Looks like you won't have to deal with another scolding from Ma, after all. Yeah, maybe those wolves were good wolves. <laughs> good wolves, eh, son? Yeah, well, they could have gotten the goats, you know. Jody, all animals are so much better than man. Man wastes, animals don't. Why, Pa? Because animals won't attack or kill unless they're hungry. Hmm. You're not like that, are you, Pa? Well, I 
Try not to be greedy like most men. I'd rather be like animals. <laughs> I'm glad nothing happened. I'm sorry, Ma. I try to be more careful. Julia, come here. Mm. Ah, I got this nice blanket to keep you warm tonight. Don't you think she can sleep outside now, hmm? But, Ma, her wounds aren't healed good enough for that. Right, Pa? He's right, Ori. The boy's right. She's a valuable hunting dog to all of us. All our animals are an important part of our life. Julia, the goats, and all the rest. Except for that dog, Dash. <gasps> now you cut that out, girl. Julia has a right to be plenty mad. She got awful hurt because of that dumb old coward, Dash. Get out of here, you. I already told you once we ain't got no use for no coward dogs. Now get on out of here, you chicken, you. I said get. I said get. I hate cowards like you. 